from SQL, which is Structured Query Language, used to query the databases and also known as the language of databases. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. To understand the concepts very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So let's look at the definition. Its definition says ProxySQL is a powerful processor that combines the functionality of data and proc steps into a single steps. Whatever things which you have learned till now, those were either in data steps or in procedures and ProxySQL combines them both together. Let's look what all we can do with ProxySQL. It says ProxySQL can sort, summarize, subset, join, which is merge, and concatenate data sets, create new variables, and print the results or create a new table or view all in one step. So these all are the things which can be done using single thing, which is ProxySQL. This is why it is called a very powerful processor. Let's see how does it starts and how is it written so it starts with proxyql sentence followed by a semicolon and it ends with quit rest of the statement or statements come in between so whenever you want to use proxyql first you need to write proxyql followed by a semicolon and then write your rest of the statements and end the statement with a quit followed by semicolon you remember previously we have been using run to end either the data step or the procedures but here you have to end this with quit let's look at the elements which can which are most often used in proxyql or we can say elements of proxyql so these are the six elements of proxyql which helps us to query the databases those are select from where group by having an order by. Today we will learn about two things which is select and from. So to understand this, let's look at a quick story. For example, you have to play cricket and for that you need a ball and to get the ball you have two baskets. Basket A which has all blue balls basket B which has all red balls now the first question which comes here is what do you need so you need a ball which has been already decided now what type of ball do you need for that for example you decide that you need a blue ball then the second question comes where will you get it from so by looking at the picture, you can say that you can get it from basket A. So now again, you when you come back to this area, so how would you say syntax will become? Because this is this part of syntax. For this, along with this, you need to provide the instruction. So what is the instruction you're going to provide? You're going to provide the statement, sorry, instruction, select blue ball from basket A. So now your syntax, complete syntax would look something like this. Select blue ball from basket A. This is what your complete syntax will become. And this is how you can use the proxyql. So here, the all which we wanted to say for example, if you have a table named basket A and another table basket B and if you want to have a ball, variable which is named as blue ball, then how would you select that? How would you get that? For that, you just need to write select blue ball from basket A. Now, let's consider that you have a table cars and out of these all variables, you want to print only these two variables which are model and type how would you write the syntax i hope by now you understand it well 
I encourage you just stop the video and try to write the syntax for that. All right, let's go and try in SAS session how we can do that. For that, as I suggested, type proc SQL followed by a semicolon, then end it with a quit followed by a semicolon. And then in between, you need to type the statement. So the things which we learned today were select and from. So in select from this, you have to provide two variable names, which are model and type. So first you would write model comma second variable name, which is type and then come to the from from where do you need to get this from cars table where that cars table exists that exists in sas help dot cars and end this statement with a semicolon let's run this so here you get all the observation from cars table no sorry here you get the two variables with all the observations from cars table which we wrote in the query so this is how you can use this powerful feature of proxql remaining things we would learn in the subsequent videos for now thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck